Uh, very good evening to all of you. In this video, we are about to see the fundamentals of image enhancement. It is one of the most important topics of image, digital image processing. In image enhancement, we look at the way how the image changes itself for the best vision or the best quality. Let us go through the basics here. Very first of all, what is meant by image enhancement? We have to consider two to three points here. The very first point is enhance otherwise hidden information. Means in a particular picture of our interest, we can improve the quality of vision when we improve the hidden information in the image. For example, if we take a group picture, we can enhance a particular part using various techniques. The second step, filter important image features like saturation, like brightness, like contrast. We can filter important fe image features which are required. Filter here means we can remove the disturbance and noise that has been come in between during image acquisition process we have seen in the previous video. And also the most important point as we are taking the important image features, if there are unimportant image features, sometimes the background or sometimes the entire scenery, we should be able to identify them and discard those image features such that our work is very good. Next, we have to consider about image enhancement. An example. Now, in this particular concept here, let us see one picture here. Very first one, it is the original image. We feel that there is no problem in this image. When we go to the enhanced version of this image, it is just an example. We are not we are not mentioning any formula or any algorithm over here. Let us see into this point. Let us look at this. How much change it has been observed in the enhanced image? Even you can see at the reflection what is happening in the mirror that is clearly visible to our naked eyes. This is how the enhancement works with an example. Let us go to the few important points. Like what are the enhancement factors? Very first, dynamic range of intensity values. Here intensity means shades. How many shades are there? And we can see that they are limited to some number of bit planes. Next one, varying the illumination over the image space. Illumination means a source of light or source of image are which, which in which on which the light is made to fall in our general language we call as photo flash next one brightness we can increase or decrease it is purely based upon how comfortable we are with the brightness while we are taking a particular image using any of the imaging modality it could be starting from a normal camera to the medical applications towards the satellite applications it is up to the user to fix how much brightness we can be able to be comfortable to see an image next one contrast the all of us get confused with the two words brightness and contrast but as brightness induces the increase in the shades of an image continuously whereas the contrast tries to make all these values of shades of intensities in an uniform way. Means it, wherever it has to be increased, it will increase. Wherever it has to decrease, it will reduce the shades of brightness. That is the main advantage of one of the enhancement factors of contrast. Last but not the least, the color by which the human beings are able to identify the things it is mainly because of the cone pigments available in our eye 
that is red, green, and blue, based upon the colors, what they are, they are the primary, are the secondary, are the mixtures of primary, are the mixtures of secondary, the machine will decide based upon the user requirements how I have to transform it such that it is very good and perceptible to the user. These are the important factors and important fundamental things you have to remember about the image enhancement. In the next video, we will see what are the types of image enhancement posters we have, filters we have. We will see all those points in detail.